Well, this is it. Our last weekend on Earth. In a few days, we'll be in space on our way to Mars. I can't believe it. Three years of training is over. The day is almost here. So, do you have any big plans for this weekend? Uh, you bet I do. Nice. I'm gonna go to the ATM, take out a hundred bucks, head to Chuck E. Cheese, and play skee ball all day long. Skee ball, really? Yeah, there's no arcades on Mars, Matt. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> well, you have fun with that, bud. Me? I'm gonna have a yard sale. You're yard sailing before we go to Mars? Yeah, you bet. Well, what are you selling? Everything! Movies, video games, books, clothes, sporting goods. You're not selling the kayak, are you? Yeah, I am. Dude, what do you want for it? I'll totally take it. Beth, what are you going to do with my kayak? Go kayaking. <sighs> uh, let me rephrase. Beth, what happens on Monday? We go to Mars! Are you planning on kayaking on Mars? Well, no. Th then why do you need a kayak? If you don't want me to buy it, why are you selling it? Because I won't need any of that stuff. We're going to Mars. We are leaving everything behind. Oh my goodness, you're right. All my stuff is going to stay here while we go to Mars. That's right. Oh man, I hadn't thought of that. My tennis racket, my Garfield books, my prizes from playing skee-ball at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> no room for any of it on the spaceship. It all stays behind. But... Matt, we're going on a real adventure. We're giving all of this earthly stuff up for Mars. Exactly. I wonder if this is what Abram felt like. You know, when God called him to follow him? You know, Beth, I think it's similar. God called Abram to go out into the unknown. He left everything behind, and he never regretted it. Talk about an adventure. Abram left a lot of things home when he followed God. He left the city where he grew up, and he left his family and friends. He left all the comforts he had known since he was a boy. Anything he forgot was left behind. But Abram got something far greater when he followed God. God had a plan to turn a childless man into a mighty nation. God gave Abram a new home and a family he never expected. Abraham is a great hero of the faith. And if we are willing to trust God as he did, we will find a great adventure for ourselves. God wants us to leave the things of this world behind for his sake. He's calling us to follow him. So this morning, tell God that you're ready to pack your bag and follow him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for giving us examples like Abraham, examples of faith, hope, and trusting in you. God, we pray that we can put our trust and faith in you in all of the decisions and all of the choices that we make. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, friends, don't forget to stick around. At 11 o'clock, we'll have our Kids Rock video. You know what? I'll join you. I'll bring my stuff in the morning, and we'll yard sale together, and whatever we make, we'll blow it all on skee ball Now you're talking. Come on, Beth. Time to get ready for a real journey. Let's do this.